phrasal verb, go away. This phrasal verb has two meanings. The first means leave. I'm going away for a while. I'm leaving for a while. We often say this when we're taking a vacation. I'm going away on vacation. I'm leaving where I'm at now to go somewhere else. Right now, I'm in Vancouver, so I'm going away to Japan. No one went away hungry after that big meal. So they're saying that everyone was full and satisfied. They were not hungry. So no one went away hungry. Oftentimes you'll hear, go away, in movies. Go away. Leave me alone. Stop bothering me. It's often considered a little rude. Uh, you wouldn't want to use this phrase. But it's good to know what it means because it's very common in movies. Sometimes you'll hear going away party. In this case, it's not a phrasal verb. It's an adjective. It's describing the type of party. It's a going away party. So for example, I'm having a going away party. I'm having a farewell party. It just means someone maybe got a new job and there's, they're having a going away party at work because they're leaving the company for a new job. Or maybe uh, a friend is having a going away party for another friend because they're moving to a different city or a different country. The second meaning is disappear. Something that goes away, it disappears. It's gone. We often use this when talking about Feelings or symptoms. How are you feeling? Much better. My headache finally went away. My head feels better. My headache is gone. It went away. My apps on my phone suddenly went away. My apps disappeared. Where are they? I don't know. They're gone. They went away. So this is an easy phrasal verb. It just has two meanings. And the meanings are going to depend on the context in which you hear it.